honestly don't know what Zack was so upset about. But man, oh man, he would have done anything to get as far away from his dad as humanly possible. Or should I say paranormally possible? Well, it was a nerve-wracking trip. <laughs> what did Mark Twain say about his father? When I was a boy of 14, my father was so ignorant I could hardly stand to have the old man around. But when I got to be 21, I was astonished by how much the old man had learned in seven years. Okay, so I overreacted. But I was looking forward to the school trip the whole year. I mean, this is where I was supposed to be cut loose, out in the woods, a million miles away from any civilization, and no parents at all. But without asking me, my dad volunteered to be a parent chaperone. Look, I love my dad and all, it's just, he was supposed to be me and the guys. Oh yeah, and Gwen. And Miss Arlington. Miss Arlington. Uh, come on. No, Dad, we got matches. You don't need them, son. One day you're gonna find yourself on 5,000 miles of frozen tundra and a freak blizzard without them. That's when your survival depend upon your survival skills. That's why I'm doing this. Oh, yeah! Oh, it's liver! Ah, move it, Pinky! Ah. Ah. Oh, someone got some pliers! Oh. Hey, <laughs> maybe someone should call an ambulance, huh? <laughs> I hear you need the jaws of life. Oh, yeah, that'd be good. Let's have a look. Whoa, hey, hey. Very patient, Mr. Greenberg. I can't even light a candle without a blowtorch. Think I should get my magnifying glass? No, I think I can get it. Oh, it didn't even bleed. Well, it's just a sliver. Your dad's a real loser, Greenberg. You're gonna grow up to be just like him. You all right? Where are you going? Who cares? I'd rather wade through slug-infested swamps than stay here. Zach, we're in the middle of nowhere, hundreds of miles from civilization. This place is crawling with grizzlies, coyotes, rabid mountain lions. Groundhogs. What? I saw one. Zach, you can't just wander off. Zach! Whoa, no way, Gwen, no way. Mr. Greenberg, it's antibacterial. It'll stop your finger from dropping off. Yeah, but it's gonna sting. <sighs> Mr. Greenberg. I'm not going back. So your dad's quirky. Whose dad isn't? Don't let it ruin the weekend. Look, he's driving me nuts. I wish I were anywhere but here. Well, after lunch, we will be anywhere but here. We're doing a mega hike. We're gonna be all over this map. Hey, give me that. My dad showed me how to use the compass right outside the apartment building. Let's see true north. Miss Arlington said the weather forecast was perfect. Look at that. Whoa. Whoa. What just happened? I don't know. Where are we? Don't ask me. That's weird. It just got cold all of a sudden. I got goosebumps the size of golf balls. The compass is gone. This is bizarre. We've got to document this baby. Mega Zach Val potential. You can now uh, play a little video camera game, but I'm freezing and I'm starving and I'm getting out of here. I don't think getting back to camp's gonna be that easy. Why not? Because there's no body of water on Miss Arlington's map. And this sure looks like water to me. Yep, that's water, all right. So we got no compass, and there's a river that isn't supposed to be here. So, where are we? No idea. And if we have no idea where we are, then we're never gonna find a way back. We're lost.
They've been gone for quite a while. Oh, really? Wow, gee, I didn't notice. <laughs> um, yeah, I was thinking of taking a look around. Really? Th that's great. Th let's do it. Let's go. Raisins? How long have they been in there? Two, three months max. So those raisins have been through the wash? They still clean? You guys got anything? Uh, I... Safety brush? Um... Hey. Got dessert. I brought my knife. A knife? That's more like a toothpick. Hey, it's got a tiny pair of scissors that are great for hangnails. Great, we'll die of exposure, but our hands will look nice. I'm surprised you didn't bring your laptop. I did. Only I left it at camp. You brought your laptop camping? Of course. Foolish not to. Hey, I bring it everywhere I go. Ever heard of a battery pack? And besides, if I had it here, maybe we wouldn't be lost. Why? You're trying to tell me that your laptop has an emergency locator beacon? Maybe it does. Maybe it does. And if I had it here, you wouldn't know how to use it. Time out. Come on, guys. Chill. I can smell lunch out here. Yeah, you're right. I'm surprised they haven't come running. They must be starving by now. I know I am. <laughs> Can something taste shriveled? Only one. There's no telling how long these are gonna have to last us. Let go of my hand. Okay, don't freak out. I was just telling you. Tell somebody who cares. Okay, I read about this. It's a scientific phenomena. Great. When people get lost in the woods, it's like they're trapped. Their survival instincts kick in, and they go for each other's throats. It's Darwin. You know, Darwin, survival of the fittest? Why do I even bother? I have this feeling there's something we should be doing. That's because there is. It's getting dark. Weird. It's just past lunchtime. We should build a shelter. You know what they say. The elements will get to you if you give them a chance. They? My dad. <laughs> What on earth would make them drop their compass? We need to mark this spot with, with a, a rock or a, a stick or something heavy. Something that'll stay put. You know what? You don't have to worry about Zach, though. He knows his way around the woods. I taught him everything I know. OK, let's get back. Um, Mr. Greenberg, camp is this way. Right. What, no sign of the boys? No, all we found was this, and it's been a while. Okay, I'm gonna get the park warden on the phone. Hey, this does not belong here. So what? Neither do we. No, I mean it doesn't belong here. It's not indigenous to this area. Neither is this. This moss is only found on the Arctic tundra. And this orchid's extinct everywhere in the world, except the Amazon rainforest. So what's it doing here? This makes no sense. Somewhere in a dark corner of your mind, it does. We've studied all these plants in Miss Arlington's class. Oh, man. We're finally cut loose. We're finally out of the classroom. And are we having a good time? No? Let's see why not. Because we're stuck in some figment of Zach's imagination. My imagination? No, buddy, I didn't make this up. Yes. Yes, you did. You wanted to get away from your dad so badly that you created a place where he'd never be able to find you. So much for the 
shelter. Got to be a way out of this mess. I said we start walking. I mean, even if we are in a parallel universe thingy, there's got to be a way out. I'm sure there is. But we have no idea what kind of portal we're looking for. Ow! I'm getting eaten alive. Okay, that's it. We're getting out of here. Come on. No! We're doing exactly what we're not supposed to do. My dad warned me of this exact thing. The search party will have a better chance of finding us if we stay put and look for shelter. Are you sure? Yeah. My dad sort of had this theory, kind of drilled it into my head. Theory? Yeah. People don't survive if they lose their heads. He used to say, don't let your brains get in your feet. I've never heard that before. Well, whatever Zach is, he won't let his brains get in his feet. He knows that. Oh, I hope you're right. <sighs> Guys, we just got really lucky. We just found shelter without even going anywhere. Okay, thanks. The park warden's on his way. Great. No way. I'm out of here. It's too dangerous. What? You heard me. I want my valet. Well, you could call, or you could help us. Really? No one's ever needed my help before. Well, we do. You could be our, um, our lookout. Really? Let's just say no one comes in or out of this door without your say-so. I won't leave my post. Maybe it's an apparition. An apparition that'll hopefully keep us dry. What's that? I don't know. I'm gonna check it out. Ah, uh, Spence! You think you could shed me a little light over here? Why me? See ya. Cameron Dunlevy, boldly going where no camper has gone before. Are you okay? Where's Zach? Yeah, I'm, I'm okay. I'm just freezing. And Zach, it's Spencer still oh, out it's there. Okay. Shh, it's okay. It's well, okay. Okay. Come here. Thanks. Cam! Maybe he found a portal. Okay, well, there's nothing we can do in the dark, so. If he is gone, then. Yeah? And who gets his last reason? You're suffering from exposure, but it's warm outside. Well, not where we were, it wasn't. W where were you? That's the thing, I don't know, Mr. Greenberg. And I've, I've absolutely no idea how I got back. Well, at least we got some light. Now here's what we gotta do. Without straying too far, we have to look for that portal. No argument here. This is one paranormal experience I can do without. Look, Spence, I know you're not gonna wanna hear this, but we'll cover more ground if we split up. Okay, we'll stay close enough so we can see each other. Ready? I'm ready. I'll take this side. Spencer! 
answer! All right. We're gonna start our search here where Gwen and Dan found the compass. We're gonna call this Sector 1. Then we're gonna fan out from there to the sector here and here. I'll start out in Sector 1. Maybe I'll point you in the right direction? Oh, I appreciate that, son. All right, let's move out. Uh, I have to ask a favor of you, big guy. Sh sure, anything, you name it. Can you stay here? Chances are the boys will find their way back. Thing is, if one of them's hurt, I'd feel a lot better if you were in camp. Well, all right then. You're a good man. <coughs> I'm gonna stay here. Hey, are you okay? Zach's not with me. He's in another dimension. Zach's experiencing a classic paranormal episode. Well, I think we all are. But why don't you sit down, son? He must be in shock. Look, I'm gonna go call the warden and tell him Spencer's back. Okay. Come on, guys. We're gonna go for a hike. If I sit here, I am gonna go crazy! Ah! I know what we'll do. We'll, we'll, we'll light a signal fire. We'll load it with a lot of wet stuff so that, that it'll smoke. I don't think that'll help. I don't know how Zach's ever going to see it. Oh, trust me. If Zach is out there, he'll see it. He's got to. I wonder my dad couldn't do this. It's not easy. Sorry, Dad. I didn't mean to run off and ruin your weekend. No, no, you didn't ruin anything. You're back. You made it back. I knew you could. Well, I was completely lost until I saw the smoke. That is so cool. So I uh, see you got a fire going. Yep. Piece of cake. We uh, lit a match. <laughs> awesome. Come here. <sighs> I missed you, kid. I missed you too, Dad. Okay. I admit it, I'm not even remotely the outdoorsy type, but in Zach File 7898-Crimes of the Fathers, I sure found that out. I'm never stepping foot in another tent for the rest of my life. Unless it's got, you know, an electrical connection and a modem line. I told Zach, matches are a good thing to have if you want to start a fire. You know, I never did learn how to light a fire without matches. You should try it sometime. It's a lot harder than it looks. Every year, it's the same drill. There's a school trip, and one of the kids ends up wandering off. Sometimes with tragic results. You guys were very, very lucky. Since you're videotaping this, I'm gonna give your viewers a little piece of advice. There's one thing you've got to remember when out in the elements. You can never predict what's gonna happen. Always be prepared for anything. How do you prepare for another dimension? 
Learn to survive in this dimension. Fathers and sons? I'd rather fall into a pit of vipers than decode that psychological quagmire. They have complicated, competitive relationships. Fortunately, though, our camping trip taught Zack and Dan to work together.